Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the new changes which has been introduced in Java 8 for multi-threading. So I've created this class, multi-threading new changes, and today I'm going to talk about the Java 8 changes. So the thing which has been in discussion is the completable future class. So let's talk about the completable future class first. So it implements two interfaces, and if you check these interfaces, these are future and completion stage. The completion stage is introduced in 1.8 and future in 1.5. These are the methods of future. the get is the most popular and if you talk about the other thing about the completion stage it has lots and lots of methods and it is introduced in 1.8 so let's talk about the complete table feature and it has two main method which has been in discussion that is run async and supply async so today i'm going to talk about the run async method of this completion completable feature so let's write down a function so i am writing a function inside run async method so to start with run async let's create thread dot sleep and let's the thread wait for 1500 milliseconds that is 1500 and let's surround it with try catch and i'm going to type it data and 5 and let's keep this int here first let me show you one thing so if i'm going to put this here So it won't gonna take it from here. See, this is showing a compile time error. It is not gonna take data from the method. So the whatever we are passing in the completable feature, it must not come from some other methods or some other classes. It should be a static and class level data. So I'm going to provide it as private static int data. So this is one of the restrictions of completable feature. And see the data it has taken. now i'm going to write down some functions to show you what i'm going to do here so i'm write down sys out and let me write down in main method so in main thread data is and i'm going to pass the data here and let me write down here the main thread and this is the main thread so when i'm going to run this it won't gonna wait from 1500 milliseconds as this is running some other thread so just when i clicked see both things came it doesn't wait for This 1500 millisecond because it was coming from some other thread. So let me run one more sleep function, and it should be more than 1500. So let's try 2500 milliseconds. And now when I'll wait for 2500 milliseconds, the thing whatever inside the computable future got changed. That data will change from 5 to 10 because we are waiting more than what the computable future run async method is waiting. So let's write down data here. The data changed by computable future and that is this and let me write down one more time in the before 2500 milliseconds data change not change as completable future is progress in progress so the data would before progress it will come as 5 only and it will wait for 2500 milliseconds that is more than what the computable future is waiting that is waiting for 1500 milliseconds and we are waiting in the main thread for 2500 milliseconds so whatever it will be gets changed and will be reflected in the last sys out method so when i will just hit run initially the 5 will come not change as it is in progress and after 2500 milliseconds at 2.5 seconds 10 came which has been changed by computable feature so that's all about the run async method of computable feature